Okay, so today, welcome. Um, today we're going to talk about the um, D780 and focusing in particular. Because I've had certainly one person in particular and quite a few others um, get back to me about a video I did a little while ago about <clears throat> the, the focusing modes um, and, and how to get sharp images out of this. Let me go over it again, fairly short, fairly um, to the point. <laughs> but let me start out by saying that the D780, out of all the Nikon cameras I've had, and I've had, I, I started to get Nikon digital cameras in 2007, I think it was, maybe eight, um, and must have owned at least a dozen since then. Um, this is the best focusing, in fact, it's the best DSLR I've ever owned. Um, focusing wise, I believe it's as oh, pretty much on par with a D850. I, I've never owned a D850 from, but from what I've seen uh, in a real world situation, it's gonna be pretty much as good as a D850. The only Nikon cameras that are gonna be better than this are the D5 and obviously the D6, which is a very slight upgrade on the D5. Um, this is probably equal to, to the D4 as far as focusing goes. Um, but those cameras are specific cameras for really fast tracking, for fast sports action and that kind of thing. This is much more of a general all round camera. Plus, of course, we've got Live View, which is using the Z6 focusing system. So we've got two completely separate focusing systems. I'm Gonna really talk about the live view. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm gonna talk about the viewfinder. Sorry, um, because that's mainly what I use this camera for. At weddings, I would be shooting, looking through the viewfinder, and using that focusing system, because the Z5, Nikon's <laughs> laughingly called entry level uh, mirrorless camera. Um, I've said that the D780 is the best DSLR I've ever owned. The Z5 entry-level mirrorless camera is pretty much on par on most things and actually slightly better on some things. We've got image stabilization. I can shoot with this down to, I've actually tried it with an 85mm lens, I can shoot at about a tenth of a second with an 85mm lens and still get tack sharp images. There's no way I could do that on the D780. So that, that scores on there. Live view. 50% <clears throat> of the time I prefer, I prefer uh, an optical viewfinder. 50% of the time I prefer live view. I have to say for, for, for photographing people, which obviously a wedding is mainly what I'm doing, um, I have to say the face detect and the eye autofocus on the Z5 is absolutely good enough to do that. Whether or not it's good enough to use for sports and action using face detect, I'm, I'm not saying because I don't do it. But for what I do at weddings, kids running about, bride and groom walking up the aisle and that kind of stuff, it is absolutely perfectly good enough. Um, so it does the job. It's quieter, it's smaller, um, and for the close-up candid documentary shots, it's a bit better than the D780. So, Back to the D780 and the focusing. Um, the, the emails I've had are, the, the specific email I've had is, is saying that uh, someone cannot get it to focus and give sharp images. They've got um, an 85 1.4G lens. We're talking a lot of money there, aren't we? Um, my D lens, um, I, now I did have a G, um, an 85 1.4G lens back when I had the D750. I actually wasn't that keen on it because it suffered from the same problem that I found uh, that the 50mm 1.4 G lens has. And that is, it's just not a sharp lens. Um, when I changed from Sony six months ago to the back to Nikon to the D780, um, I still have my D700 and one or two lenses. But when I got this and was switching back to Nikon, I got um, a range of lenses, this being one of them, um, but also an 85 1.4G lens. And like everything, I, I use the AF fine tune to get it all set up. And this has got the automatic AF fine tune and I use that. And it really 
wasn't very sharp. So I, did, I, I thought maybe the, the auto AF fine tune hadn't worked very well. So I did it manually the way I've done it for, for years and years and years. And it still didn't give particularly sharp images. I kept, during the two years that I had Sony, I would kept uh, the Nikon 50mm 1.8G lens. So I took some shots with that and compared the two. And the 1.8 was way, way sharper. Um, so I changed the... Um, I, I, I thought maybe something wrong with the lens. So I changed. I got another 50mm 1.4G lens. Exactly the same problem. It just is not sharp wide open. And even stopped down to 1.8, the same as my 1.8G lens, my retro one. Um, I still wasn't as sharp at 1.8 as this one is. So just got rid of the 1.4 and now use 1.8G lens because it's sharper than the 1.4. I suspect, looking back at the D7 50 I had when I used the 85 lens at 1.4 the G lens looking back at those pictures now I can see they're not brilliantly sharp when I changed the Sony and an 85 Sigma lens 1.4 Sigma um, that was bonkers sharp I mean that's that's razor sharp um, and comparing those two it was obvious how unsharp the Nikon lens was so when I got this six months ago I decided I wasn't going to go with the 85 1.4 G lens and I would use the D lens so that's why I have a D lens and not the G I just feel it's possibly sharper um, and I'm completely and, and totally happy with the sharpness that I get from this um, it's a little bit noisy focusing it's it's obviously relies on the camera to do the focusing so It does make a bit of noise, and if you're using it for video, that would be a problem. Um, otherwise, I, I don't really see it being a problem. Uh, focusing it probably isn't quite as fast either as a G lens, but if it gives sharper images, I'm 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 happy with that. Also, I find that D lenses just just have a certain character, and 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 I like that character. So, so that's why I've got this lens. So, focusing. Also fine tune with this lens, it was just absolutely spot on. I check, I've, I've since I've had this email, um, I've checked it manually as well, and the AF Auto fine tune was absolutely spot on. So unless your camera has a problem, the Auto fine tune AF fine tune should work perfectly. Now, a couple of other things that could possibly go wrong. Um, First of all, if you're using a lens like this or the 135 f2 or anything with a, a super shallow depth of field, ju just remember how shallow that depth of field can be. Um, if you are shooting this at about focusing on something about just over a meter away, this will only focus down to about a meter. If you go just beyond that and you shoot something at 1.4, the depth of field, the, what's in focus is is about that much. It is ridiculously small. And it, it's possible that you can look at the picture and so much of it is going to be out of focus, depending on the, 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 um, the composition. You might look at it and think, well, that's, net, that's out of focus because you've missed this tiny bit that you were focusing on and that actually is in focus. But so much of the picture is out of focus. It can look like it's out of focus. So that, that that's one issue. So to get around that, just um, stop down, go down to about 5.6, take a shot, you'll have a lot more in focus and just check it again then and ju ju just make sure that, it's, um, that, that certainly a decent chunk of the picture is in focus. And I really, I cannot think what else can be the problem um, if it's not giving sharp images other than, there's one more thing to check and that's speed. 85 lens, um, and remember this hasn't got image stabilisation, the minimum I would shoot this at is a hundredth of a second. If I'm photographing people, I would tend to get that up to a hundred and fiftieth of a second anyway, because I, as I explained in a previous video, people move. And even if they're only moving their head this fast, 
if you work out how far their head will have moved in a hundredth of a second, it's going to be two or three thicknesses of an eyelash. So you're never going to get perfectly sharp images. Um, so you need to be up to 150, 200 of a second to get sharp images with an 85 lens. So again, if you've got problems, make sure, put it on manual maybe, make sure you're shooting at maybe a 500 of a second, go out in bright daylight, take some shots again, see if they come out sharp. Eliminate things one at a time. The other thing to try, of course, is live view. Um, <clears throat> so if you turn live view on um, and use that for focusing, then you're using a totally different focusing system to the, the viewfinder. And if you find it's giving sharp images in live view, but not through the viewfinder, again, you may have a problem with your camera's focusing system with the AF array um, using the optical viewfinder. You've got to try and whittle it down. If you've done these things and, and you found you've still got a problem, um, if you want to drop me an email uh, um, with a, an example photo and explain how you took the photo and what you believe to be wrong, I, I will happily get back to you and, and try and comment and try and help you out. Um, obviously, the, la the last thing you want to do is to, is to have to send this back to Nikon for them to look at. A, it's going to be expensive, and B, you're not going to have a camera for probably several weeks. Um, so if I can help, I certainly will do. Hope you found that useful, guys. If you've got any problems with focusing, uh, as I say, get back to me and um, I'll try and help as best I can. Hope you found that useful. Cheers for now.